Hey guys, I've heard messaging now, leave me alone. Damn, this guy is totally messaging me too much. What the fuck my file? Old me? I... I miss being on planes. I love meditating today, looking into the sky as I usually do. I increasingly saw myself looking at planes pass by. You know, quite low to the ground because the airport's not too far away. Out or something away, but my plane has like 15 20 minutes. This plane's fast as fuck. And I saw this plane go by and leave like a, a trail of cloud mist behind it. I don't know why it does that. I'm gonna move it in a minute. But I had seen the plane do that, and then I just thought to myself, I miss being on a plane so fucking much. My last holiday was. Jesus Christ, yeah, some fucking messaging, man. My last holiday was in Vietnam, and it wasn't really a holiday so much as it was just like a work, a work holiday. It wasn't like too much relaxed. I wasn't relaxed in Vietnam. My sleeping schedule was fucked. I didn't get sort of like, you know, re be really at peace. Not as much as Turkey. When I was in Turkey, in Bodrum, Turkey, at a four star hotel park in my ass, bro, the views were amazing, the water was amazing, I had actually genuine fun at some point. I did drown though, I almost drowned at some point. I don't know, I think I might negative boil or some shit, but I don't know if I was negative boil or whatever, because I never really struggled with this, but everyone was like floating high, chill, chill. I just couldn't stop sinking under the water, and I swam for my life towards the boat, and I literally got shook, straight up shook, because I I was drowning. I tried to like float, relax my body, and I just couldn't like the water just the water just <laughs> just made me drown man, I was fucking terrified and I tried to tell it to the people around me, they're like, Oh you'll be fine, you'll be fine. But these people wouldn't didn't know that if I just let go of life and I just my arms gave out at the moment, so if I just let my arms give out, I would have just drowned. I just wouldn't need a body. I would have been on the fucking news, the local news, fucking fat Asian kid dies. In the, in the ocean. And I just couldn't stop thinking. And people couldn't, like, understand this around me, so that really took away from my relaxation period. But I did enjoy, like, being on the plane, and I did enjoy going on holiday, and I definitely did enjoy, like, the view at some point. When I, well, in the morning, it was a buffet, so uh, I'm getting, getting the food from the buffet, and I'm looking at the view. The view is absolutely fucking gorgeous, honestly. I miss that a lot. If I could wake up every single day to that, with a girl on my, by my side as well, bro, I'd be very happy. I'd be a very complacent, happy man. And I just want to say, like, I miss traveling. I miss traveling around. I was quite a bit of a spoiled brat growing up. I was a bit of a, not only a trust fund, maybe, nothing like that, but I always went to a bunch of countries, I mean, mostly all across Europe. And I've been Vietnam multiple times in my life, and I went to Canada as well, and I love Canada. You know, it, was, it, was like, it was a bit like America, but a bit more healthy, and, and people are much more nice. Of. No, I love Canada, and I love traveling, and I love all this shit, and I miss it. The only way I can get it again is, is if I get a bunch of money. I miss traveling, I miss going on planes, and I, and I really want to make a bunch of money so I can, can do that again. I miss... Oh, I miss the little bit of blood. It was always a economy, by the way, but if you go on, on, on holiday enough in an economy, 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 it stacks up, you know what I'm saying? I think my mom spent easy 10 grand plus going on holiday over the years. 10, 15, 20 grand. Mom tells me a lot because to me, to my mom, yeah, because she's thirty something. I don't know the exact age, guys. But uh, ten years to her is nothing. That's, that's one third of her life. Ten years to me is my entire life. And ever since I was like three, four, five, six years old, I've been on a holiday, bro. Every year, a few times. And then to her, like it's just normal. You work, go on holiday, you work, go on holiday. But to me, like I've changed so much since then, especially my mind, my mentality. And it's also difficult for me to quantify that even as life in general. I think of myself sometimes. I just been keep going to college and keep going to this. I've been on more holidays and blah, 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 blah. complacency, complacency, complacency. Even my friend was telling me like, 
Oh, you're a holiday. Every day is a holiday to you. I feel like I'm suffering. A prison cell for the track and track to have home. home. So, gross out. I'll go to run though. I'm, about, I'm gonna go to run now. Through my mind. I'm gonna do some shadow boxing and some work out. Hands hurt. Shadow boxing intensity. I'm gonna do it again. It's, um. I'm gonna go and run and increase my cardio and stuff at the spa. I just wanna make a bunch of money, man. I apologize for the lack of, you know, coherent speech. Usually in my videos, I'm like, I've got a direct message. Yes, guys, you're gonna do this, lies, you're wrong, this is how, how to do this, how to do that, but. This is my own class channel. I want to share my emotions. I don't wanna be like, oh yeah, how unlucky me. Oh wow, I'm so unlucky, I don't get to go on holiday all the time. Of course not. But there are kids out there, and trust my babies. It's not really nice. And there are trust my babies out there. Having so much fun, living amazing lives, not worrying about money at all. Doing whatever the fuck they want, whenever they want, however they want, because of their parents and how their parents work. They get to travel all the time, first class and everything. And I'm not living that life. The only way I can live that life is by making a bunch of fucking money so I can live that life. I don't want a show called Bling Empire and you just... Oh, that show fucked me up, man. I don't like Bling Empire because of that. Because Bling Empire is just a bunch of, a bunch of bratty rich kids with their little fucking rich people problems. Just going back today, oh yeah, my rich people problems, uh, drama, gossip, this, 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 that. Their lives are so inconsequential. So weird. Anyways, that's me up me writing. I just missed traveling, I missed going on planes, I missed I missed I miss being free. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.